Good to see you, too. But you, you, know what I, you know what I find fascinating? I, I, I mean, I've known you for a while, and I've seen all the films, and all very good, but you do seem overwhelmed by this. Like, the other night at the premiere, people oh, were just going batty, and you look like, oh. This is big, Jay. This is big. This, <laughs> this is, is the, the biggest it gets, you know. Yeah. Because the expectations are so high on this movie. It's been off the screens now for six, seven years. And uh, the last few kind of got a little bit wobbly and inarticulate. And yeah. I think with this one, the, you know, the movie makers, the producers really paid attention. Yeah. And we got one stab at getting this right, you <laughs> yeah. know. And uh, so, you know, you're high up on the wire there. Now, when you started, because I remember uh, you were supposed to do Bond, what, about eight, ten years ago? I was supposed to do Bond in 1986. Right, right. And this is the network that screwed you about This is the, the Peacock... <laughs> Yeah, the peacock peed on me. Really? <laughs> was, well, tell me, sorry, you were... But it's okay. I had dried off since then. No, no, no. You but know. Now, you were doing Remington Steel, but it was, it was canceled, right? I was doing Remington, thank yeah. you. It was a great show. It was in its fourth season, and they put a line through it. They canceled it. I got offered James Bond. I said yes to the part. And, but in the contract, there was a 60-day clause in which NBC, or MTM, who owned the show. They right. had 60 days in which to resell it back. And in those 60 days, I went ahead with all the negotiations, the wardrobe fittings, my stunt double had started, the pre-title sequence in Gibraltar, et cetera, et cetera. Cubby and I had done all the photographs, you know, dun -dun 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 -dun. Right, <laughs> and then, you know, the negotiations went on over those 60 days and it was getting down to the wire. Cubby said, look, you can have them for six episodes, but no more than six. And they said, well, think about it. On the 60th day, they came back and they said, we'd like the option of 22. Cubby Ooh. said, no way. And that was it. And then you were out. Oh, that man. was out. It was gone. It was on a Thursday evening. I remember my wife and I, we were, we, we, uh, well, we, we, uh, we were renting a house down in Malibu. And it was 6.30 in the evening. My agent phoned up and said, it's not going to happen. Well, how many, did you actually do the Remington Steels after that? I did the six. And then they canceled the show. Oh, man. Kev, do I have one of those 60 day so, clauses? <laughs> <laughs> I would check it out, Jay. But you I know, see, all good things come around. They all come they around. They do. It's amazing that this came around a second no, no. time. Now, as a kid, were you an action hero fan? I mean, did you, did you go religiously to the Bond films? No, no, no. I grew up in Ireland. I grew I up in that. a small country town in, south, in Southern Ireland, County Meath. And there was one little cinema, and I grew up on a diet of... There was a movie called Old Mother Riley. Old Mother Riley Films was a Scottish comedian who dressed up as a grandmother. He was a cross-dresser. <laughs> the English, and I wanted that. to be one of those in life. No, no, it was this. There was Old Mother Riley movies, and then there was Norman Wisdom. And then, 1964, I left to join up with my mother in London. And we were living in South London. The first Bond movie I ever saw was um, Goldfinger. Oh, okay. So, and somebody actually sent me a tape of Goldfinger the other week, and I was watching it. And August 12th, 1964, I left Ireland to go to London. August 12th, 1964, Ian Fleming died. So, ooh. Ooh. Eerie similarities. Eerie similarities. Ooh. But uh, there you go. I mean, Do you know where I, 007 comes from? What, the number? Yeah. Do you know why he's 007? I have no idea. <laughs> what you're going to tell me, I 007 guess. 007 is the bus that Ian Fleming would take to the <laughs> pub that he went to. Yes, yes. Get out of here, yes, really? Yes, yes, yes. I am a bondophile. Well, also, also. <laughs> but also, James, I mean, Ian Fleming, when he was writing the story, he came to try to find the name for the character, and he looked up on his bookshop, uh, on his bookshelf, and he saw these, uh, this book, and it was by an ornithologist, and his name was James Bond. Oh, and that's, yeah? Uh, it was a real guy. James Bond was this guy, and uh, he just put the name down. Because when we were kids, Goldfinger was like a sexy movie. They didn't have R-rated and X-rated. I remember being a, about 12 or 13, you're sitting in the theater, oh, she's going, she's got the painter, the one who oh, got man, the painter, you know, he'd sit there. Well, well, can you imagine what it was like for a, a young Irish Catholic lad, you know, <laughs> who, was, who, was, who, was a, who was an altar boy and brought up by the Christian brothers? Well, beaten up by them, more like it, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, uh, Were you a very experienced youth? Were you a man oh, of the no, world at I a young was, age? I was innocent. I mean, so when I saw this naked lady, this gold naked lady, it was unbelievable. Yeah. And I kept on going back for more, <laughs> you know, but... Uh, so where did you finally learn? Sex? The facts of life, yeah. Huh? I mean, where did you learn? Did you learn from perhaps a kindly older woman, or...? Uh, um, no, not really. Yeah. No, it was... Uh, a kindly younger woman? I was very innocent. I was 11, and I had no idea where, where well, babies How many 11-year-olds have got a, a Corvette in their own apartment anyway? Come on. Yeah. Well, so when did you finally learn about the facts of life? I think when I was about, uh, I think I was about 
12, 13. Oh, uh, about a year later. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I caught up. But, I, you know, I, I didn't lose it all until I was about 19, actually. Oh, uh, 19? Yeah, I was very late. Well, that's, a, that's about well, not very well, late. Everybody well, goes to their own. By today's standards. Yeah, by today's standards. Today's standards, about 18 years late. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> So tell me, like, the first day on the shoot, you're Bond, you're the new Bond. I mean, is it one of the things you walk in and the camera goes, oh, there's a new Bond? This little well, sure, anymore. you go on the set and there's, you know, there's a crew there of 160 guys and they're all waiting for you to do your thing. Uh, I mean, the pressure for me, I screwed my finger up. I, I sliced the tendon in this little finger. Yeah. About eight weeks uh, before I did the film. So I had a finger that was like this, you know. I, I had a splint for seven weeks. When I took the splint off, I took it off the morning of shooting. And the first scene that I had to do was with Robbie Coltrane, big guy. Here I am as James Bond. He comes into shot, and I put the gun to his head. Okay, now my finger, I put the gun to his head, and he says the line, what does he say? Only three men in the world own that gun, Walter PPK, and I've killed two of them. And then it rakes focus to me, and I've got the gun, I'm supposed to say, lucky me. I say, lucky me, and my finger goes, dunk. <laughs> so, it was like, sir. <laughs> It was just, it wasn't, it was, well, it was nerve-wracking because you feel a bit silly. So I said, I'm sorry, guys, let's, let's, let's go again. It's okay, it's okay. And Martin Campbell was very nervous. Everybody was very nervous. Everybody's looking to yeah. me to be the man. So we, we went again. It was like, lucky me. And then it kind of <laughs> squeezed out. So I had to strap it down, the finger. Right, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, boy. the great sort of signature thing to the Bond films is always that opening sequence. And the, yeah. the, the stunt in this one certainly rivals... Uh, was this the airplane thing we have here? This is the... The airplane stunt. I love this. This Watch is the this. airplane. Take a look. Scene from uh, GoldenEye.